Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and in this video I will show you how to block adverts in Linux for your entire local network. So the application I'm going to be using is called Pihole and once it's set up it will block adverts from being displayed on any network devices and this includes computers, laptops, tablets and mobile phones. Now this is done by routing all your internet traffic through a blacklist and if a domain of an advert provider appears on that list, then it's blocked. Now Pyho can be installed in Fedora, Debian, Raspbian and Ubuntu based distributions, as well as using the virtualization platform Docker. Now I personally have it installed on my Raspberry Pi 4, which runs Raspbian, mainly because for Pyho to work, it does need to be running on your network. So using such a low powered device such as a Raspberry Pi is perfect for this. However, for this particular video, I will be using a installation of Ubuntu 2004. So before we actually install Pi-hole, there's a couple of things we need to make sure that are done. The first is to ensure your, your system is completely up to date, which on Ubuntu can be done by the following terminal command. So let me just load up the terminal. sudo apt update ampersand ampersand sudo apt upgrade space and then y type your password in and it will check and see if there's any updates and if there is install them for you uh, alternatively you can just use the GUI tool that comes with the distribution uh, in Ubuntu it's software and updates so secondly we need to ensure that curl is installed uh, this can be installed by the single, this particular command sudo apt install and then curl press y to confirm and that will install it now finally we need to ensure that the distribution is using a static IP address so in Ubuntu you go to settings network wired if you're using a wired card little gearbox thing IP version 4 and then choose the IP method as manual so for the IP address choose something that's not in the DHCP range of your router which is usually between 100 and 200 so in my case 0 0.4 subnet mask will be dependent on the IP address but it's usually for the majority of people three lots of 255 and then 0 the gateway is use the IP address of your router and the DNS again is use the IP address of your router. So once we've done that, we can apply those settings and actually get on to installing Pi-hole. So the installation process is pretty straightforward. It just requires you to type in one single command. And the command is this one here. So if we copy that into our terminal, and it will begin the process of installation. Shouldn't take too long really, the whole overall process, a couple of minutes probably at the most. Okay, so install the start, install the started. Uh, let's confirm. Yep. So as it states there, it needs a static IP address. We've already done that, so we don't need to worry about that. Now the upstream DNS provider, honestly, just choose Google. But you do have a list of several different DNS providers as well. I'm, I make sure to choose both of the filter lists, block it on both IV version 4 and 6 and that's just to confirm the settings to be used as a static address, yes. And it also just mentions there that in theory it shouldn't be assigned elsewhere but again as it states there check out the DHCP reservation pool as well. Do you want to install the web interface? Yes. Uh, the web server? Yes. And log queries? Yes, we do. Uh, for the privacy mode, initially set it up to show everything, but you can just adjust this as you wish in the future. So now it's just going to continue to install everything. Again, shouldn't take too long to go and do this.
Okay, so the process is now completed. Just take note of the login password here, as we're going to need that later on. You can change this at a later date, it's not the end of the world. So, yeah, installation is complete. So now that Pi-hole is installed, we do need to set up our router to divert all the internet traffic through the Pi-hole installation. Now, normally you'll find that this is done by changing the DNS server settings on the router. Now, since there's probably hundreds of different types of routers out there, this will vary, but you can usually find it somewhere in either the LAN or the WAN section. In this case, for my tender router, it's found under internet settings. So it's this setting here, where it says DNS settings, and I need to just change that to 04. And that will now filter through all my traffic through the pie hole. So let's click connect, save the settings, and we should get a nice message in a setting in a set a moment saying that it's, it's completed. There we go. Dial up success. That's what I want to see. So pie hole can can be configured through the web interface, and you can get it get to it through http colon slash slash pie hole slash admin. On the first time you load it, you'd be prompted to type that password in that was generated earlier. If you forget the password, it's not the end of the world. It's quite easy to reset it. You just go to the tab here where it says forget password, and you type that command into a terminal. So I'll just do that to demonstrate. So enter new password. Uh, we'll leave it blank. And the password removed. So now we should be able to just log in. And there we go. So there's quite a lot of functionality built into the program itself. Uh, I recommend you just have a look on, on Pi-Hole's website, as there's a lot more documentation there, and it'll tell you about the ins and outs of what you can actually do with it. The main thing I use it for is to basically filter, I suppose you could say like parental guidance, that kind of thing, because I've got a small child, I don't want them to see like dodgy stuff on the internet. Now, although I've, I've been personally using Pi-Hole for over a year now with no problems, there are some alternatives out there. The most popular one I've seen advertised is AdGuard Home. And the good thing about this particular, it does a similar sort of thing to Pi-Hole, but it's a bit more advanced. But the advantage of using this over Pi-Hole is that it's available as a snap. So that basically allows you to install it on any Linux distribution that supports snaps, which I think is near enough all of them. So you are limited to your Fedoras, your Ubuntu's, your Debian's, and them kind of bases. So if you had maybe a Arch base system, you could install this instead. That being said, I'm sure Pi-Hole's probably found in the AUR anyway. Anyway, with that, it brings this video to an end. So as always, thank you very much for watching. And if you did find this video helpful, please do consider leaving a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.